we actually got two new people. So let's just uh, let's do some push-ups for them. Hold on, I gotta figure out. And then I have some stuff queued up on what to learn. This is the last three hours, and honestly, yesterday I was stressing out a little bit about it. Wait, give me a sec. Oh, we gotta do four. Okay, I'm chilling for a little bit. <laughs> oh god. Oh wait. What does that say? Oh no. Did I fuck up? I think I fucked up. No, I fucked up. What does it say? Oh no, it's chill. It's chill, it's chill, it's chill, it's chill. Okay, I've got some stuff queued up for us to do today. Honestly, yesterday, I was really stressed out. Because I was like, oh man, I've, I've only got three hours left and I feel like I'm not going to be able to do it. And then I thought to myself, I was kind of like, you know what? You are trying to overcomplicate everything, right? And that's what I realized, I really was. I was trying to overcomplicate making a song. But if you think about it, some of the most simple songs end up being the best. So I was like, you know what? Let's not, let's not overcomplicate it. I really, I have to fucking charge my mouse, but this cord's bugging me. Uh, So I want to learn how to use the fruity love filter today. Hold on, I gotta pull out the chat just in case someone hops in. So I always forget how this shit works, bro. This one, this one, and where's the pop out chat? Come on, I want to see it. There we go. There we go. We'll move that over there. Sick. So we want to learn how to use the fruity love filter. So I'm just going to throw a quick bass line down. Get rid of all this stuff. Always set to kick for some fucking reason. Uh, let's do, I, I have my friend, the German friend from yesterday taught me this one. Scale highlighting. We're going to change it to something. Let's do minor melodic. We usually do minor harmonic. Do a simple bass. I don't want anything too crazy. Right there. do a simple melody too off of these notes I don't really want to put the uh, like a kick and all that shit into it yet mainly because oh, we'll put one here. I don't want to put a kick into it yet because I just want to want to practice the sound more than I actually want to like Ooh. That'd be kind of funny. We should do one with a conga. All 
right, and let's modify the fuck out of this uh, cowboy melody. So we're just going to do this in the piano roll. Boom, look at that. Fuck, it's always on kick, cowbell. Let's modify the fuck out of it. want something simple. I don't want to do something too crazy. Oh, why is that? How do I disable these? I don't want to do it, but I'm doing it. We just got enough to start working on this parametric love filter EQ. <laughs> Fruity love filter, how to use. Holy fuck, a 20 minute video? Six minute video. Routing an intro to the Fruity love filter part one. Part one? Is it really that complicated? There's no way it's actually that complicated. Adding life to your song with automated filters. Deep vocal effect. All right. I'm gonna do the 20 minute video at two times speed. Goddamn. Welcome. Goddamn. In this video, Goddamn. we'll have a closer Goddamn. look Goddamn. at Love Filter. Love Filter is an advanced, loopable filter plugin consisting of eight identical filter units. Each can be run in parallel, used in series by sending a filter unit to the next one in the chain, or both. 
fucking missed it because of the fucking filter plugin update. consisting of eight identical filter units. Each can be run in parallel, used in series by sending a filter unit to the next one in the chain, or both. Huh. Love Filter can create complex filter patterns. <laughs> gating effects. Phase dispersion. Distortions. And you can use the X and Y macros to control many parameters at once from a single automation source. <laughs> Top left are the filter unit tabs and switches above the tabs. Turn each filter on and off from here. Each filter unit has multiple stages of processing arranged in the order of the signal flow. The input section allows you to set the volume of the input signal. This is always referring to the plugin's direct input. If you do not want a filter to receive direct input from the mixer and only input from other filter units, that means serial routing, turn this down all the way. The filter way. The filter allows you to set the volume of the input signal. This is always referring to the plugin's direct input. If you do not want a filter to receive direct input from the mixer and only input from other filter units, that means serial routing, turn this down all the way. The filter section determines the filter type and cutoffs used. Some filters, like peaking and shelving filters, will have an extra gain control, and there is a special low pass filter that uses the extra control to overdrive the filter stage, creating more. The, bro, that, that feels like I'm fucking listening to Mandarin. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Straight up. Hour to 17 and I'm still an idiot. So we do, do we just slap it on something? Should we just slap it on something? Let's just do... Trumpet. Synth. Let's just do a quick synth. I say quick synth as if I actually know how to do a synth, which I... I I genuinely don't. Uh, we want this one only. Isolate that. Keyboard layout. Add an instrument. Or synth special. Auto gun? What's that? Three, quick melody. We'll just copy paste the other one. God damn it. Okay, so that's our default sound. What the fuck is that reverb? Holy shit. Okay, filter three. We're gonna throw the parametric love filter on it, which is ooh, that's I don't know what that is. Where is it? There it is. All right, let's follow along. Let's follow along. What's he doing? Multiple resonance peaks in the spectrum. If you would like to know more about how the basic filter types work, please check out the updated Parametric EQ2 video, where we go into detail about common filter designs. All of those and more are represented here. Love Filter has our usual suspects. Bandpass. Two different high passes, a high shelf, three different low passes, one of which being special,
Oh, okay. A low shelf. A band stop, notch, or band reject filter. A peaking or bell filter. And a state variable filter, which is a combination of low, band, and high pass filters in parallel. This one allows mixing between the three different filters with the sliders here. All pass filters shift the phase around the cutoff frequency according to the resonance or bandwidth, most noticeable when mixed in with the input audio. Use the ALT control to switch to a different mapping for the resonance knob. This is most noticeable with bandpass, peaking and notch filters. The single, dual and triple buttons are 12, 24 and 36 dB per octave filters respectively. This is done by stacking another instance or two of the selected filter sets in the stacked filters cutoff frequencies. You can see that with band stop and peaking filters as they produce two or three notches or peaks in the spectrum. The envelope knob sets the amount the cutoff frequency is influenced by the envelope, LFO and input envelope follower. Cutoff sets the cutoff frequency of the filter. Resonance adjusts resonance or bandwidth. Be aware that for band pass, band stop and peaking filters, the resonance knob is used for bandwidth. So for those filters, 0% is actually the most resonance setting. Every filter unit has its own wave shaper. A wave shaper is a wave distortion effect which remaps input amplitude values on the horizontal axis to output amplitude values on the vertical axis using a flexible spline-based graph. This type of graph is often also called transfer curve, which you may have heard before when exploring the... To be honest, I don't really understand what he's saying at all. It's a... Uh... But I know that this puts on three different switches. Kind of sounds like underwater. I feel like I fucked it so hard. Also, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry. One sec. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I don't feel like a bathroom break should count. Just saying. I don't think they should count. You get a pee.
All right, I emptied my bladder. And now we can take a look at this fucking filter again, which is like, bro, it, I don't know. Every time I open this, it's like, what am I- The concept at? of compression. Essentially, a wave shaper is a very flexible compressor without any time variables. The amplitude change happens instantly, causing distortion in the waveform. Turn the wave shaper on and off here. You can switch between unipolar and bipolar modes of operation with this control. In unipolar mode, both top and bottom halves of the waveform are affected evenly. This type of distortion will produce odd numbered harmonics only, so you can turn a sine wave into a square with this. In bipolar mode, it is possible to change the bottom half of the waveform in a different way to the top half. This is called asymmetric distortion, and it will produce the full harmonic series. With some careful mapping, it is possible to change a sine wave into a saw with this method. This can introduce a DC offset, meaning a static offset in the vertical position of the waveform. Think of it as a frequency at zero hertz. This is generally unwanted and can be eliminated with a soft high pass filter. Below the XY pad, you can select various options that can make specific presets, especially ones with wave shaper enabled, sound better. Center, for example, enables a slight high pass filter at 20 hertz that removes global DC offset. Oversampling can increase the internal sample rate of love filter to avoid aliasing artifacts introduced by distortion. Options are 2x, 4x, 8x, or 16x. Be aware that 8x and 16x do significantly increase the CPU yeah, as the plugin. Oh, You. Who is that? Bro, I was doing something, man. I don't even remember what the fuck it was I was doing. Has to process a multiple of the input samples at the same time. This is still noticeable even on a very modern system and can stack up quickly if you're not careful. For the vast majority of material, 2x and 4x oversampling should be enough. And HQ envelopes enables greater envelope accuracy for those times when it's about single pixels in the graph. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Incidentally, you can resize love. <laughs> He's like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Absolutely not, dude. I High have no idea. High music and sound effects that you can actually this, afford. This what is crazy combo, What's up, y'all? Sign Green Beats in the building. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the underwater effect in FF Studio 20. So here's how the beat would sound normally. To pull up the underwater effect, and everybody has this because this is a stock plugin. Uh, go to the master track. What did he do to his webcam, dude? There's no way that's a default setting. This this <coughs> this man's got like an infrared filter on his shit. Go to fruity love filter. Okay, presets. Go to simple triangle LFO. And that's it, Sean. No way. Uh. No way, that's a presets. Pres well. Wait, where's presets? How do you do that? Wait, what? No, oh, here's. No. Simple triangle low pass LFO. Actually, that works. That was so fast. What the fuck? Um, there's another one that I like too, which. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's see this. Theoretically, if we took this, oh god. Who did that? How do I, can I undo 
this whole thing that I've just done. What does this do? What the fuck does this even do then? What's the point of this? If it doesn't really alter the thing. I don't know what the fuck it is I'm looking at. This this shit's complicated. Let's just undo that. I have no idea what I did. Okay, well, we know how to do a watery effect at this least. This is the melodic bandpass. I feel like this one gives you a pretty pretty dope underwater effect too. This one's a little bit different from like the classic one. But that's the classic one. The, that's like the popular go-to that a lot of different beat makers use. The simple triangle LFO. Uh, things you can try also within this is um yeah i mean mess with some of these knobs doubt you can always hit the reset button okay i mean i get it but i also don't think that that i mean fuck it we ball right but okay now here's the next thing is like theoretically we make a beat right and we want this beat to have an underwater effect at the start but we don't want the underwater effect at the end so we only want it for a segment so i saw someone show how to do that and i just don't remember it i saw it yesterday also why is my bpm like super high This is just an, the example beat, anyways. Ah, oh, fuck off. It's just the example beat. We got this. I want to go to 110 because that'll be a little bit faster. My computer, by the way, is, is on fire. I know you didn't ask, but it is. Okay, so we know how to do that. We'll keep these open for reference later. Yub tub. We got a new follower, didn't we? That's why I had to do push-ups. Oh, thank you, person who's following me. Yo, we're almost at 10. I hit my yearly goal in one more follow. Uh, what are we looking at? I don't know how to say that. Channel routing in FL simplified. Simplified, 6 minutes, 8.58. YouTube Premium is YouTube that doesn't have a And we're here with the YouTube Music. In case you couldn't tell, Hey guys, welcome to another video. I get a lot of questions. People ask me, hey Cole, why is your mixer channel the way it is? Why does it look like that? Why is it rooted like that? Now, before I sh tell you the why, I'm going to show you how I actually go about doing it first, okay? Then I'll tell you why I do it as I'm doing it for you, okay? So usually if I'm starting, from, starting out from a blank canvas, which... Um, I don't really do most of the often because I have templates now. But you can check out the card above to get the UK Drew Vocal preset pack, third edition, which is completely free, which would make your life easier, okay? So what I do is the first channel here, I create the beat. I call it beats, okay? If you don't have access to the vocal, the beat, multi-track, or the stems of the beat, then I just call it beat because that's what's going to be rooted into the... Maybe we should actually layer some stuff really quick. So let's just do super quick. Uh, let's just do a basic house drum pattern. It's not gonna sound good with what we have, but that's okay because we just want to. We're here to practice, right? Yeah, we can turn it on. Uh, kick, 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 kick. Let's throw a snare here and here, and then hi hat. No, let's do hi hat, hi hat. One two, one two, hi hat. One two, hi hat. One two, hi hat. Wait, this is wrong. I don't like this. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if I like it or not, to be honest with you. This is my go-to <laughs> fake, fake ass uh, drum beat pattern. Good enough. Wait, oh fuck, no. Then we'll shorten this. 
go away. It's not gonna sound good. We know it's not gonna sound good. Okay. God damn that reverb. The, the mixer itself, okay. Now I like to color that a specific color. Sometimes I color it blue, okay. Give it like a darker color. Then the second one, I call it the vocal bus. So I rename it called a Vox Bus, okay. And then I colored that red, okay. Next ones, I call it lead vocal. Lead Vox. The, the after one, Vox Dubs, one after it. Then, insert five, ad libs, okay. Then I color, I highlight all of this by pressing control and shift and highlighting all of them at once. Right clicking, change color. I change this color to blue. I like to have the lead vocal, basically all the individual vocals as a blue color, okay. Then after I've done that, I like to create, I can skip one and then just kind of create a next one here. I'm going to call it reverb. Reverb, okay. So this is going to be the reverb send. And then next one, delay, okay. Then after that, I can create the recording channel here. Let's record and then after that will be when I actually insert, let's say if I do insert my channel here, I can speak into it, okay. The reverse reverb and the, the, the reverb and the delay, I kind of color that into like a yellowish or greenish color. This green for now okay and what i do is the lead vocal vocal dubs and adlibs highlight hold down shift highlight roots right click into this button here roots whoa, whoa 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 green for now okay and what i do is the lead vocal vocal dubs and adlibs highlight hold down shift highlight roots right click into this button here roots to this track only okay wait what Okay, rename. 808. Pink. Cowbell, rename and color. Okay, what was this? Do we have anything on that? Hold on, hold on. We're gonna do low pass filter preset. So we'll try and go low pass. Okay. okay, I'm beginning to get an idea. Let's see. And that's essentially what I do. Then I record every time I record. I start to root all the channels into the corresponding mixer track or channel, okay? Now, you're probably thinking, okay, why do I do that, okay? To keep things simple. Keeping things as simple as possible means that you're going to be faster with the DAW. You're going to be quick when you're recording with clients, when you're recording with people, or, or even recording yourself. You're going to be quick with it, okay? And then plus this, yeah, once you have all this kind of set up, like on the mixer itself, you can save this as a template, okay? Now this is your recording, this must be your recording template. Then what I usually do, um, if, if you guys see my previous videos or seen, seen what I've been doing as of late, let me kind of shift all of this <coughs> right, left, right, compact, okay? So now, all I have is eight channels that I'm actually currently using right now. You know, there's no need to be going about beyond 20, 30 channels if it's not necessary, okay? And once you've kind of done this, okay, the beat here has to have its own channel here. It can't just be rooted to the mouse that has you have to have its own channel so you can add effects and whatnot. The vocal bus is a group or is housing these individual channels here. So the lead vocal, vocal dubs, and ad libs, okay? The, these sends here is where I'm going to add the effect channel. So basically the effects um, mixer channels, okay? And the recording one. So what I usually do now after I've done all of that, I, I kind of go to the... Let me kind of make sure this is... Uh, what's that word? Detached, okay? So now I go to the playlist itself. Left, left click or no, right click. And then press track mode audio track and then I root that into the beat so if I bring in the beat it's going to be automatically uh, linked anything that I put here is going to be automatically linked to the beat itself the vocal bus I don't need to do that for the vocal bus but the second one I usually do that um, track mode and I right clicking change color I change this color to blue I like to have the so he can select multiple at a time right so let's try that no no how did he do it No, I want to select multiple. Stop it! Stop it! Fucker. Was it not shift? Was it alt? 
No. <clears throat> what did he say? He said something here. Then, insert five, add libs, okay? Then I color, I highlight all of this by pressing control and shift and highlighting all of them once. Oh, control and shift. Oh! Fancy! And then let's just do the rename. No, let's just change the color. Lilac, deep slate blue, it says. Hey, so that means if we control click and click routing, then we can route all the selected tracks into that track. So theoretic, theoretically, right? Let's see if we could do this. I'm gonna talk with a British accent because he was. We do control shift and click, 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 click. And then we go to this one here, right click, route to this track, route to this track. Sidechain to this track, what? Route to this track. So theoretically, now, if the low pass filter is on, if we go to the music and we hit play. it's pretty hard to hear but basically there's a filter on it right now right so we turn it off that's normal so we just put everything on a fucking filter i spent way too long yesterday trying to do that this guy's first two minutes of his video taught me how to do this and that whole fl studio video did not be, to be fair it was trying to teach me everything but like Nah, bro. Okay, so we got that. So now we got that. So we know how to do the, the, the water effect filter. We can learn how to alter it a little bit later. What else did we have on the list of things to do today? We wanted to do volume automation as well, which we kind of know how to do. Oh, we wanted to do snares. That's the other thing. No. My snares have just been dog shit through the whole thing. It's really slowly. Best snare mixing tricks and tips. Hey, this is Max from FL Studio Tips, and today I will show you a technique. Do you see that? What the fuck is that? On how to make your snare go from this to this. That's a snare. So I will be working on the project from our full five hours long beginners course. If you haven't checked it yet, click the link in the description to learn more. But let's jump right into it. So as you can hear, this snare doesn't really pop out. So first thing we'll do is add a limiter here. He layers his snares and his claps together. You can see it right here. Bum, bum, bum. Bump up. He's, he's got some really complicated hats. Hold on. Can I go back and take a better look at this? So his kick goes snare, clap together, clap, a one, and then kick one, two, and then another snare, clap, and then one, snare, one, two, snare, one, snare, one, two, snare, one. Okay. So the snare and the clap go together, which I think is pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever actually seen that. Although I'm pretty, now that I think about it, that sounds really basic and I'm sure tons of people do it. I'm gonna just write it in here, snare. Uh, actually, let's just, let's just fucking, let's do all the drums. Let's do all the drums. Let's get rid of this. No, no, oh, fuck you. Let's do all the drums. Kick, green, yes, happy with that. Snare, green, also happy with that. Hi hat. I'm just gonna call it hit. Green, happy with that. And then let's do a clap. We've never done a clap before. Never done a clap before. Uh, and we'll turn this off and off. And then this browser library is kind of annoying. Let's make this bigger. Uh, okay, clap. No, we need something else. I want this. Do a clap for two bars. We'll do the hi hat, two bars as well. Do a snare and a kick. Don't turn these off. We'll use the defaults. 
do clap, clap, like that. Shit. Clap, clap, first red, right? Clap, clap, and then we did a kick, 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 kick. And then we'll do a hi-hat. blue is it this one 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 and here's where things get weird snare with a clap oh fingers crossed boys I mean oh I put everything on clap <laughs> shit Shit, whatever. It's a, I mean, it's a dog shit. It's dog shit, to be honest. But let's just keep going. So first thing we'll do is add a limiter here. We'll go to compressor mode, turn the gain about 6 dB or so, and turn the threshold all the way down and ratio all the way up. Now we'll make the sustain to about here and turn down the release of you know what actually has like the greatest snare of all time you know what actually has the greatest snare of all time i don't know i don't know if anyone's watching right now but check this out this is the greatest snare of all time this right here never mind it's not that You know exactly what I'm talking about. I swear to God, if I, the first thing I do if I ever start making money doing this is buy YouTube Premium. Come on. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. in this but I guess not no I'm so wrong but I remember it going like I remember that but I guess it's not in there that's so weird I, I genuinely thought it was I genuinely thought it was in there but I, I guess I'm wrong oh no we've lost one of our followers oh dear what have I done do I need to learn reverb for stream? What do they use? Oh yeah, right, yeah, total talk. So we got the love filter, we know volume automation, we kind of know track routing, good snares, and get some vocal samples. I think we're just about ready. We're just about ready. All right, let's close it. Let's close it, let's close it, let's close it. It's time to make something new. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to open Adobe. Go away. Go away, Adobe. Alright, no, 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 you're gonna take away computer processing power, we don't want that. Let's open the browser window. Well, I think the first thing we're gonna do is a nice, nice bass. 
No, maybe we should do the low cowbell first. Because that's going to set... That's going to set everything. Pretty much for the whole thing. And we want simple. No, we don't want that. Plugin presets. <coughs> Maybe we do the vintage cowbell though. I think we do the vintage cowbell. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Under legacy drums should have a vintage. I like that one a little bit more. I wonder if you know how they live in Tokyo. If you see them in your mind, can you hear them at the door? Let's see Tokyo. Where, where, where? Tokyo. And we'll pick a scale. I don't know, what is Arabic? Interesting. They don't have a. There's no. There's no A's. There's no D's. I don't know if I like that. I like A's and D's. Let's do view. Scale highlighting. Let's not do that. I don't know. Maybe we should just pick one. Other whole tone. Other diminished. Other blues. 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 Romanian. Pentatonic. Neo. Neapolitan. Melodic. Minor Hungarian, minor Neapolitan. Let's do that. Let's try this. See it. Hmm. Okay. Let's, we'll work with this. Simple. So we were supposed to make the low cowbell, but we made the high cowbell by accident. Now we're going to do the low cowbell. <laughs> Whoops, it daisies. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Rename. Real. Real recognizes real, right? Now let's get some of these root notes here. Can delete this. We don't need this. Just 
basically the same. You can make it a little bit longer. That way, that way, that way, that way. Nice. So what do we have? We have C. Let's do C, G, C, D in that order. And we'll do it ascending C. God, I hope I know what I'm doing. No, let's make this low. Let's bring this down to G. Let's make this one go to C. Ooh, that does not sound good. Let's go back to G C. We haven't thrown on any effects yet. We're probably not going to put on any effects for like a hot minute. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 808 bass. Ew. shaped. So the reason I'm going to do shaped is because, no, this is the wrong pattern, delete. Um, I want this pattern. I'm not going to do a super textured 808. I'm just going to copy these notes into here. You can hear it. Fuck. Again, kick. Shaped. Okay. So then we're going to do. I know it doesn't sound like anything. But we're going to do this first. And drag it out. 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 Drag it. Oh wait, 
super distorted but that's that's going to be part of it that is going to be part of it don't worry there's vision I promise there's vision all right let's side chain this bitch this is so hot my computer is like on fire mm -mm -mm -mm. okay insert five uh, rename color and icon 808 light purple there's a better way to do that I know there is so let's do wave shaper first let's do a second wave shaper no 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 not two, two wave shapers just one delete yeah Nope, gross beat. Uh, presets, repeater, session. I do want to check some. I want to check my notes because I want to see if Homeboy would be 808. Two layers of Wave Shaper for sharpness. Oh, the bass does have two layers of Wave Shaper. Oh. It doesn't have Destructor at all. Actually, before we get rid of it, let's turn it off and put in a second Wave Shaper. Sharp. Oh, look at that. Jesus.
just throw in a kick there and practice doing some of that side chain stuff as well. And throw this on. Uh, delete. I want to pick. A, I want to pick my own kick. Kick, 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 kick. Like this, right? Well, that should it should happen with a drop. So let's let's simulate a drop. Uh, this here. This here. does have a lot of knock to it though. Actually, I kind of like it. Let's get rid of the graph kick. We'll keep the minimal kick. Now, what if we did this instead? going to layer the effects but I have to I don't know I already went to the bathroom once but I'm gonna go again
All right, let's actually start like building this. So what do you think? I don't think anyone's there, but what do you think? Should we? vision okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the 808 start right then we're gonna lead into a slow cowbell but we're gonna fade it in with the channel mixer This low cowbell, I know it's supposed to be low, and I know it's not supposed to be loud, and yada 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 yada, but it feels off. I want to give it like more texture, but I don't know what to do. sharp feels so out of place. So we take it out. This is exactly what we had before. What if we... I want to practice insert one above and it should follow the base copy the pattern open 
action all right go into gear 3x os randomize 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 i'm gonna spare your ears and put this on channel six i'm not even gonna play it before i uh see what it sounds like because i know what happens every single time that i do that and it's not good it's not good so that's on channel six rename and color icon three x aux three x aux you said white right oh it's on basic gray no no no, no. we want more like a white slate gray good enough for me and then destructor we throw on no filter nor chorus speaker combo five we want it in crusher a little bit more crush a little bit more crush it's pretty loud Okay, I gotta check the notes. What else did he put on it? For the aux destructor, crusher, chorus, combo five, stereo up and adjusted. Isn't crusher. Filter and chorus are off, which I have. Speakers on combo five is stereo output adjusted. Combo five, adjust. Side chain it, side chain these together. Right, so we'll side chain those together. figure it out right now I think we need to put in a new cowbell for the drop insert one cowbell drop that's what we'll call it seems like I'm doing a million different things at the same time and this one will go right here we'll crank that delete this I think we take this pattern actually we'll go to the piano row for a cowbell drop for another VCT cowbell Why is it so fucking quiet? What if we change this to D sharp? Why is it so quiet? I kind of like it, but why is it so quiet?
also haven't introduced the hats yet. Probably introduce the hats a little bit sooner. Simple hi hat. Let's try it for now. Do 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 like that. what I should do. Perhaps we should do an example song. Uh, I'm gonna get a copyright strike again. No, I'm joking. I don't got one yet. What about this one? Off the soft edge. My fucking cowbell seems like sweet, and this seems like mean, you know what I mean? So first off, let's get rid of this. Get out of here. We don't want that. Wait. We don't bring in the low cowbell yet. Let's start with the high cowbell. Theoret, I just want to copy what he's doing so I can get it. Distort the shit out of this, but now I want to layer it.
distort it even more. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're going to distort the fucking living shit out of this beat so fucking hard, and I'm kind of worried. No, not this. Shaped. No, 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 go back. Oh yeah, we have it on shaped. Sounds kind of interesting, but I don't know if it's good. What if we... What if we actually turned it down? What if we actually turned the volume of the shape... Is down. in this here he brings in the drums remember we're not copywriting we're just learning thank you Nagata let's pick a snare
it's like too aggressive almost. I'm gonna use a 909 snare. But snares are good. I hate snares so much. Snares for fog. Fog snare. Sample focus. This is free. Snare what? Can I hear it? Oh god. Oh god. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no, there's a drum kit free. Should I use it? kinda should try grab someone's drum kit instead of trying to do it myself. Media fire link. Different language, different language, different language. Oh my god, bro, this is so good. Stop again, blah 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 blah. Oh my god, all of it is in a different language. Is there any in English? Am I about to fucking explode my computer? Download. Like first. It's two gigabytes? How is it two gigabytes? Oh God. Can I trust Mediafire? Can I trust Mediafire? Is that okay? Is that allowed? Can I trust Mediafire? Is Mediafire safe? This site, Mediafire is not a virus. I want to download a Minecraft mod from it, but I am not sure. Sure, sure. This site is a virus, so can you help me? Post such an elite and I've used it, and I've used it recently. Just so because of the potential because it comes from an unknown source we could be discussing a virus of minecraft mod it's probably safe to download it's probably safe okay okay let's try it how is it two gigs for a drum pack beginners oh he's brazilian okay we're doing it oh god what? I don't know. I don't use Opera. Did that work? Okay. It just automatically up got Opera for me. I might have just fucking destroyed my whole computer, dude. better i can't believe this thing is two fucking gigabytes all right maybe we should look up something else that was rough that was fucking rough hmm misa thinking okay but i mean to be fair in all of the time that we've spent learning we've we've come a long way i was i was really like anxious about this yesterday because i was like oh my god i'm not going to be able to do anything blah 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 but i mean we came from zero absolute fucking zero and what we've learned so far well first we learned that different types of funk i remember that we also learned that different uh funk beats have different bpms this is set to 130 it might actually sound different in like a 110 i can make it quicker if i put it to a 110 
actually like it, it does sound a lot better but that, i should have done it also the lo-fi i don't know why it says it's aesthetic lo-fi sound um we kind of do a little bit of that vibe with the 3x oscillator but it's not done to a point where it's kind of like it sounds like the lo-fi uh low vibration low what does it stand for low something what does lo-fi stand for it's a type of music thing what does lo-fi stand for Low fidelity, recorded with intentional imperfections such as misplayed notes, environmental noise, low hum, or phonographic audio imperfections. So this stuff and low hum. So we learned that kind of the three X oscillator. We also took some example songs from Interworld by Metamorphosis, or Metamorphosis by Interworld, Play a Main and Niteki, and we got this one, but that's like rap, and that was a lot to like take in. We talked about different instruments like synthesizers, samplers, drum machines, cowbells, high bass, and vocals. Oh, I spent so much time trying to learn drums because I this is a tone deaf for drums. So episode eight to thirteen, or it, sorry, th episode three, eight to eleven, we talked about the drums and we did all this stuff. But then I was kind of like, you know what? I can kind of like pick it up now and just start composing something. It's not necessarily going to be god tier or anything like that, but it's not going to sound super bad it's kind of what you would expect from 20 hours of work but i think a lot of people are terrified of that first 20 hours and now the thing that worries me is that people are going to see how far i went at 20 hours and be like oh it's too much time oh god it's not good enough for 20 hours and it's like yeah to be fair but also think about the dudes who like actually make music on like a really regular basis those guys those guys put in tens of thousands of hours and they're like god tier right but I just want to show, like, it's not as scary to jump into something right away as much as you think. Right, I'm just going to, like, pause the timer a little bit while we wait for this thing to download. Because this thing is two gigabytes. Gigabytes. I don't know how the fuck that thing is two gigabytes. Oh, because it comes with vocals. So, I didn't want to use a sample pack at first, but now I'm like, nah, nah. We're using the sample pack because I'm too terrified to like fuck around with not doing a sample pack. Maybe we should watch something else. In the meantime, the most beautiful game in the world. We can close this. We don't need to look at that. My Twitter. I just opened this. I think that's Emmy Rue. I started following a bunch of other streamers because I didn't understand. I love artwork like this. That's so cool. I didn't understand why a lot of people. Oh. Is he gonna do it? Heil Hitler. <laughs> oh, come on, you got this. Nice. Twenty one million. T series 253. Oh, no, the upcoming sub race with T series is really clear. I love my fans from India, and this has nothing to do with countries. I just want to be the one number one most subscribed. Fair enough, dude. That's nice. Whoa, that was cool. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, that's sick. I just like scrolling through Twitter sometimes aimlessly. There's no real reason to do it. I just like it. Okay, brother, let's see. So what did we say? We wanted to make two songs. So one's gonna be a super fast song from front to back like Psychogenesis. But we want a BPM super fast. So we want a BPM of like, let's say 150. Is that too much? Is 150 too much? It might be. Let's, let's see what 150 BPM sounds like on this.
so let's set that to 140. For the slow song like Nagata, we're gonna give it a BPM of even lower. We're gonna give it a BPM of like 110. One slow funk like Nagata, quick intro with textured 808. So quick intro with a textured 808. What does the 808 have? The 808 will have Wave, Shaper, Sidechain, maybe Destructor. Oh, what the fuck? Why am I in Canadian? No, it's called Destructor in that app, so let's keep it with that. And then into High Melody. Cowbell with mad sharp FX high EQ. That's what it sounded like. Into take out melody. Into trap drums. Snare, hats, no kick. We don't have a kick yet. High melody. drop into full composition and then what happens after that do, 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 do. <laughs> it's the same melody but lower we could play with that we could do something along those lines drop into full composition Cowbell is now lowered. Where did you go? So he just introduced a, a second bass? Is that two basses? What is that? That, right there, right there. So basically it's just a loop of reintroducing and removing instruments and it's a lower song at like 110 BPM. I'm gonna take a guess, I wouldn't know how to tell. Cowbell is now lowered. Possibly second base. So that's actually, when I think about it, I think like the composition of that song is pretty easy. Getting the right instruments and all that shit is tough. How do I... What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install sample packs as well as drum kits in FL Studio 20. So it is really easy, but um, here's the browser right here. So the, all your sample packs and whatnot are going to be in the browser. If you ever are too deep in the browser, you can always click this right here. You can always refresh the browser by hitting this, but you're going to find all your drum kits and sample packs in the browser. So first thing you want to do is aggregate all of your sounds to a location that you can find. I would prefer the music folder and I put all my drum kits, I, I make sure that they're extracted as in like, you know, they're not zipped. Like basically unzip all the folders where your drum kits are. Unzip all the, do I need to do it in FL? Libraries, music, no, he doesn't do it in FL. Okay. Oh God, oh God. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, let's put that in document. You should open documents in a new window, right? New folder, FL sound library. 
in documents open this another two gigs won't kill me copy that into here and then we'll delete it so we don't have two of them i'm so hungry my tummy hurts that's right bitch i said tummy oh my god i kind of want to buy i know i shouldn't but i kind of want to buy fl studios so that in case i get a second music challenge then what I can do is I can go back and work on some old stuff and make it better. And then maybe in like a year's worth of time, I could just like drop an album out of nowhere. And I'll, I'll say it right now, I drop it for free. Free, no copyright, none of that shit, self-produced, blah, 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 blah. And just drop it for free and then people could use it. I think that'd be a good idea. I also think that would be a pretty good marketing strategy. If you like, if I had someone use like a song that I made for free on TikTok and then people started using it and it was free, That'd be good because it was all part of the challenge anyways i'm not trying to like make money off of the, the music because it's to be honest not worth money <laughs> okay so we, we did the thing homie what do we do now i'll delete that later so i place them in here Place them in a, in a folder. I call mine 2021. Um, just go to options, go to file settings, left click here, and then find that folder. Oh, okay. This seems pretty easy. Where's options? <laughs> options, file settings, folder, and documents. Did I not just do it? I swear to fuck, I just put it in here. Oh, FL Sound Library. There it is. Did that work? Can I close this? Close this. Oh my God, it works. We did it. I think we do it. I think we replace all of our instruments with those 100%. Damn, I didn't know it was that fucking easy. I could have been doing this this whole fucking time. Jesus. fucking 808s Seems really easy. Holy reverb. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's on the, what's on it that's doing that? Is it the destructor? Delete that shit. Fuck that. We'll keep the gross. Is it because I have two? Why is there so much fucking reverb? What the fuck is going on? Why is it doing that? Is it because it's that long? What if I shorten it? What the fuck 
is the effects that's causing it to do that? I'm just gonna delete all the effects. I don't know if we want any effects after hearing that. Is that reverb? Why did it sound like that? That's, is that even reverb? What happens if I, dude, it's, it's hot in my room right now for some fucking reason, delete. Yeah. What if we throw a reverb on it and then cut out all the low frequencies? Let's actually try, okay, let's problem solve here first. Sound good eyes there. Crank that to like nothing. Nope, that's not fixing the problem. Yeah, that length is crazy. Why is it like that? Uh... That is ridiculous why that 808 does that. I don't know why that does that shit. Here, you can only put one. Oh. oh my god, there's so many. Actually, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea to deal with this. Let's delete that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into here. throw a one in there just one we're gonna make one really long note right was it just because it was low now. I really wanted to do that wobble, wobble effect. Maybe we just 
just side chain it right off the ripper in the effects panel. So let's go into here. What was this on before? Uh, 808 shape was on five. Side chain presets, repeater, side chain A. Just crank this back down to let's go 110. Let's do it slow. So now the sound is only sound only goes to here. one here sounds really out of place what if we actually are really nice too. Alright. Oh my god, look at the cowbells. 117 Sierra 117 calling Sierra 117. Yeah. starting to understand things a little bit better. Bob. Do intro melody one here. No! <laughs> and a second melody here. Now we are going to change this around.
<laughs> I fucking despise it. Holy shit. Man, the, the pack made the world of difference. Like you don't, I don't have to worry so much about like all this other bullshit. Maybe we just simplify and not do a second fucking melody and just keep it at that, so I don't go full blown monkey again. high note here is so fucking unnecessary where is it This guy is a G. Whoever the fuck made this is a fucking G, bro. I have hope again. I have hope. Cowbell pack. Basic cowbell. Bonus cowbell. Scary cowbell. Oh. This for the low notes would be sick. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. We're gonna have to crank that down a little bit, though, to be fair. Low cowbell real? No, we want low cowbell real.
this pack is gonna let me do so much shit. I just gotta explore it. Effects one. You try to run, I'ma cock my gat and flash you deep, deep in the book. You try to run, I'ma. You try to run, I'ma cock my gat and flash you deep, deep in the bushes. See, I'm scoping with that dead dog. You... Oh, I did that so sick. That is so sick. I fucking love this, dude. Oh my god. God bless this guy. I'm I'm plugging the fuck out of this guy. What's his name? Biggin? You get a subscription from me? You get a you get a fucking like from me? He's got funk Brazil music in here. This this man deserves more credit. If you're trying to make funk music and you find this free drum kit, holy shit, this guy has everything in it. Totally free. God bless you. Begin so. I don't really know how to say your name. I haven't got a virus from it yet, so. <coughs> I think this dude saved my life. 100%. 100% create automation clip. Yep. Yep. Slap that here. Into a drop, that'd be so sick. Be so sick. I gotta take a small break. I'm gonna order food. I'm gonna pause it for like an hour and then we're gonna go back to it. I think this drum kit has actually just totally made everything in life easier. So the next stream, which I'm gonna do tomorrow morning, I think, is going to be I can't use any references or anything from YouTube. I can't use any notes. And for the entire time, I have to produce two songs. Two songs with it. That's that's the goal for, for the next stream. And then I'll be like, and then that'll be my finished product and I can post that and shit. And be like, look what I did! To be honest, it's like a lot of really basic knowledge, but I think as a beginner, you probably should use packs. And then as you get more advanced, then you can start like making your own packs and stuff like that. But I think we scrap this and then we'll make one from scratch when we get back and see what's up. No, maybe we don't scrap it. Uh, no, we scrap it. We scrap it. We'll start a new one. I'm gonna order some food, take a piss. I'll be right back and we'll, we'll just chill for a little bit while I eat and then we'll get back to it. And then that will be the last hour. And then we're done the challenge. Well, we're not done the challenge until tomorrow when I actually like make a song, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do for the next one though, to be fair. To be fair. That guy is a fucking beast. I don't know what to what to watch. Should we just browse Reddit? I'll browse Reddit while I order food. E girl police tribute lol. How do you get stuff like 808 kill balls? I know this isn't packs, but I wanna know what stuff I should should I have get to get. This is 808 Cavels. Did anyone answer him? It's from the Rolex R8 TR8 Oh, big is true. You serious, Clark? The only correct answer, I think Ableton has the, the actual sounds in their packs as an alternate flavor. Lol, okay. I'm gonna order food. I have a really small bladder. I feel bad. If I was a streamer, it'd be so rough. Oh my god. Damn. Why is my whole shorts all girls? Oh no, that's not. It's Andrew Tate. <laughs> it's Emeru. Reading, reading, preparing. Oh my god! 
Senat got a working... Do people call him Senat or Kai or what? <laughs> Should we look on how to go viral? Are you guys going to be with me while I try to do it? I literally have like two weeks before I have to like move back home. Because my, uh, my granddad got a tumor in his kidney. We do not know if it is benign or not. So we have decided that it's probably best. I, because I thought to myself, I said, I'd rather go home and it be nothing than stay here and it be something. So that's when I, that's when I quit my job and I started doing this shit. I did this shit. And I was like, I got three weeks. I'm going to put in so much effort for like three, four weeks and see what we get. My plane home, my, my ticket home, one week, two week, two and a half weeks. That's how much time I have to try and like get this shit to work. Can we do it? I don't know, but I'm hungry. And I'm going to get some food real quick. So I'll be back. I got to go get the thing for you. I don't know if it should just be something playing on in the background or something. Curse my small bladder. And we're back. I ordered my food already. It was super easy. But I, uh, I just opened up my YouTube studio and I noticed we got one new subscriber. And we got another dude who commented on this. He says, here before viral, remember me for when you become famous. I'm going to say this right now to Avatix. Avatix. I'm just going to reply to you. I love you. Kissy face. Mwah, that's for you. That's not a kissy face. It's it's a heart emoji. I love you. There you go. And then I have another guy, Ed Edson. Keep it up, bro. Would be interested to see how you are improving your music producing skill, not in folk music, but in general. You gained a subscriber. <laughs> Brother, I don't know if I want to do another music one. I've learned the hard way just how fucking hard music production actually is. And music production is not fucking easy. That shit is tough. If your friend is a music producer and you've, cause like before I was always like, oh, you know, they're just music producers. Like I didn't really know what that meant. But then I started trying to do it myself. And bro, my outlook on music production has totally changed. Anyone who's a music, who like produces music of some shape, way or form, like, you should look at them and realize that that is such a difficult task and craft for them to do. And once you start actually getting it, it's like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. Like, for those guys to be able to just, like, hop on a beat, I don't know. Let's just type in FL Studios tutorial and see who we get. Like, let's pull up some guys. I don't know why Myanmar popped up. 
This was free code camp. In the mix, this guy, this guy's a G. This guy's an absolute G. This guy's a G too, but he he's moved on to like making sounds. Beginner tutorial. Trance, start to finish. Arcade, love arcade. Shonky, love our. I don't know if that's how you say it. This guy's fire. Arcade, arcade, lots of arcade. Because I think YouTube knows I watch a lot of arcade. I don't know who this guy is. FLC for to complete beginner, beginner's guide. <laughs> I like the way this guy looks. But yeah, you should genuinely, um, genuinely appreciate the people in, in your life that make music a lot more. That it's it's a lot of a craft to to just like sit down and do it too. I'm super grateful I was able to produce most of this shit with my free trial, so I didn't I didn't buy it. But I'm sorry, FL Studios. I'm I'm broke. I, I literally just quit my job to to fly back home to be with my family. So I. I you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me a little bit of a pass for that one, bro. But yeah, huge respect for them. Aspawn instantly shuts down Pokimane. I know vaguely of these two people. I actually think my friend back home said he went to school with Pokimane because apparently she went to school in Canada, and that's that's nearby. What, I don't know what school it is. Are you wondering how much it will cost you to start up a company in Dubai or anywhere in the UAE? Check out. If you didn't know, Pokimane released brand new cookies called Miner. She pitched these cookies as the next new snack, health snack that they've created. We basically made this brand because why are there not more snacks that are simply healthy, tasty? So yes, we never call... <laughs> What do you mean? It's all you need. Like, you just eat beef jerky the whole day. It is healthy. What do you mean? Beef jerky is fucking healthy as shit. Ben got exposed that there's actually cookies is beef, from Costco. Is beef called... jerky healthy? I love beef jerky. I, I should know this. Is beef jerky... Hold on, that's the first thing that popped up. It's a healthy snack. Best consumed in moderation. Most of your diet should come from whole unprocessed foods. So beef jerky is an avoid eating too much of it. As it is high in sodium. Yeah. Health risks that are linked to eating processed meats. That's fair. But that's good. It's like protein intake. And it is tasty. This is also coming from a guy who just ordered McDonald's. <laughs> um, I'll be honest. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to clean it up a little. And then show you guys what my living situation is. So you know that when I say I don't have space to cook. I actually do not have space to cook. It's not a joke. It's not like a game or nothing. Like I literally... Hold on, I'm gonna check the camera so I can see what I'm doing. I literally, so this is my condo. It's tiny, it's not very big. I have a couch, I have a board, I have my bed. This, this is so you know, I'm not messy. This stuff over here, that's that's my, my friend who left Thailand, he left all of his shit in my apartment and I was just like, okay, I have a fan and I have that. But this, this right here, this is my, this is my kitchen. You see a stove? I got a microwave, but I ain't got shit else. I got a kettle, and I got a fridge and a sink. Sometimes I might like put like a cook pot or something there, but I will until I go back home. I'm not thinking about like cooking. I literally, I'm not joking. In Thailand, I can afford to order in for every single meal that I have. Every single meal that I have, I order in, or I go out and buy it because the cost of living in Thailand is just it's so extraordinarily cheap you can get away with doing like a ton of stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to do i okay so for example i just bought i just ordered a mcdonald's egg mcmuffin coffee and a hash brown for 209 baht including delivery including delivery right that's five dollars 91 cents including delivery to to my condo and that is actually considered a, 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 a mid-price meal. If you order Thai food, that's where you get the best bang for your buck. So I would order two whole boxes of khao mugop, which is uh, mugop. I don't really know how to say it. Khao mugop. It's, it's crispy pork and rice. And sometimes I throw an egg in that for the same price. And I get two boxes like this. I was just feeling a coffee because it comes with the coffee. So it's like, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it with the coffee. I'll get it with the coffee. So I was like, you know what? If you ever want to like fuck off and live in Thailand for a little bit, 
you can you could like say you took like a month off work or whatever and you wanted to try and like i don't know do music production or something like that like save up for a little bit have enough money to afford for rent and stuff like that but you could just go out and do it and and dedicate your next like two two months to just grinding whatever that is to see what you get and then go back home um that's not what i did i was actually an english teacher out here until i quit but other than that it was pretty good anyways my, see, when I was just looking around, my ADHD goes like crazy. Midnight mini cookies from Totsy, which had the exact same nutritional va values as... Uh-huh. These cookies were only $10 for 14 ounces. Pokimane's cookies were 16 ounces, was $28. I... A lot of people who simp for and should get away with scams in this one should try it someone should tr actually try it on stream side by side and see what, what, what if it's good i don't know who miskiff is see this guy keeps popping up and i can't f understand like who is he he's in everyone's stream i know asmin because he plays well i know emmy rude because she's because of consequence with miskiff uh obviously everyone knows kaisenet Oh, so, hey, that's what I do. Find your footage and get the perfect sound effects all in one place. Hold on, let me skip Go this. to Artlist. For what to say? Like, how, how, like, for what to say? Like, how... Okay, first of all, it don't matter. I'm a girl. I'm going to say all girls are cute. Like, that's not even, like, accurate. Oh, uh... oh my. Was that a rat? <laughs> Was that a rat? Is he crying? Oh, I thought he was crying. Oh, he... I can't tell if he's crying or not. No, that's not real. Are you are you streaming tonight? No, not tonight. What the f*** you got on your head? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you got on your head? It's a long story, bro. God, goofy. Chill, 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 chill. I gotta wear, like, hats and for a minute. I knew your head looked like that, though. No, why? <laughs> what? You got the body of a... Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Honestly, though, I got a little, I got a lot of respect for Kai. got respect for him oh my god i have a really bad attraction to very athletic women like i you don't need to have a chest you don't even need to have an ass but if you are incredibly competent in a sport of some sort weightlift it could be it could be anything running weightlifting whatever i find that shit so attractive Uh, 
I also like Schlatt. He's funny. Not necessarily a big fan of uh, Hassan. I love Ludwig. I think Hassan's like community is uh, the the biggest deterrence of it. It's like XQC. Like I like XQC, but the XQC community is, you know, what is this brown blubbery things in soups and noodles? <laughs> Honey, that is uh, that's blood. That's that's uh, that's straight up uh, gelatinous blood. See if anyone else said it. I don't know what the actual term is. Chicken or pork blood, whether you wish to eat it or not, is up to you. Thai's do though. It's actually pretty good. It's good and nutritious and delicious. It is. It is actually really tasty. The one thing I don't eat in Thailand is chicken feet. Uh, cause you can get meals where like chicken feet is a thing, and apparently it's like super tasty. Not for me. I that's one I can't really do it. A couple weeks ago, I had the flu. One night, I violently woke up at two a.m. pouring sweat full of cough medicine and ran to my computer because I had a stroke of genius. I made this fell asleep at my desk and forgot about it. Just. Died. I was gonna up, but it's at 420. That actually sounds like a fever dream. I spent a lovely night with a guy in Tokyo at the end which he gifted me a pic with his this written on the back. Any help with the translation? No, I'm good. Wait, is, is the price of GTA 6 out yet? Price per hour? No. Okay, 60 to 70. Per hour value. The longer the game, the more it's worth. That's kind of crazy. I love this song. I love Tom O'Dell. I know I'm supposed to be like making like funk music and stuff, but my actual taste in music is really different than like some of the, I don't know. Actually, I like all sorts of different kinds of music. That was good. Uh, news. This is crazy. I love this. Is my food nearby? 11.10 a.m. Five minutes. What's a dark underbelly that tourists don't see? Even as someone who's lived in Thailand for a bit now, I still get the sensation that it is overwhelmingly safe, people are lovely and easy to get along with, the quality of life is high, I'm all able to forget my phone and the phone holder overnight and still have it there in the morning. That's actually pretty true, Thai people don't really steal. Uh, I'm able to forget my phone, whenever there's an accident, people swarm the scene to help out, everyone is always smiling, and people don't generally give a shit when you do wear a look like, say, as long as you're being respectful and not harming anyone. Yeah, generally true. What's the flip side? Tourists do see a lot of the dark under this though. Tourists see their activities are the dark underbelly. <laughs> 2024 Thai tour is met. The best of Thai is its people. The worst is you. Ooh. You are so naive. Yeah, true. What tourists do and see is like the bit of the iceberg about when it's a lot bigger, dark below the waterline, brighter tourists paying for services is one thing. The organized sex trafficking and political corruption that supports it happened not so much shall be for us. Yeah, true. If you think about Pattaya underbelly, the local Bravo is a hell of a lot bigger business than the tourist places by far. But they're a hard to spot for the average tourist. They don't support the Western people. Bad narrative. I had a friend in Koh Samui who didn't know anything about the underbelly and saw old men with young kids and knew. Oh, God. You have to be some kind of blind and stupid to not see it. I am not in that area, though. 
I have never been to that area. Absolutely, I lived in Thailand for three. Oh shit, time to go. Let me get food. Sorry, cop. Sorry. Uh, Tuxi, Tuxi, cop. Damn it. Yeah. Sorry, cop. Thank you. If somebody hurts you, I wanna fight. My head's full of blood. You know I'm on break. I don't think anyone's here. I don't think anyone's gonna tune in magically while I'm gone. Real quick. Uh 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 uh. Put up one too many times. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Okay. Just got a message from my landlord basically being like, hey, give me more money. But I paid a first and last month's rent and I told him, I said, listen, I'm going back home. I know I paid for a year, but I gave you two extra additional months of rent as collateral in addition. And he's asking for more money again. I was like, dude. Who put you up to this? Who's asking you to pay for more shit? Is it your, because my landlord's only a kid. He's young as fuck. All right, where's the Reddit browser? I'll go back to just browsing Reddit for a little bit before we go back into making beats. Yes, I see it as lying of omission, the things that no one discusses. There is a transport mafia, tourist exploitation, child prostitution, prostitution, cor corruption, and more because it's but it's true also that the food is great and nature is spectacular and people are smiling and generally soft mannered until you're unlike unlucky enough to bump in against an irate irrational citizen and they turn into a grandma and run that actually can't happen oh my god this is packaged very differently than it normally is it's got like a whole ass like little lid on top of it when i do the next series of the three hour streams i'm gonna study like teach myself for an hour and a half, then take a break. Cause I think doing it three hours straight is actually kind of strenuous on the br on the brain. 
Yeah, this is all true. That's so cute. The best Chicago style pizza. Where's the cheese? It's under the sauce. There's no cheese on it. It's under the sauce. Like, I'm Italian and this is hurting me. It's from Chicago. But it's just sauce. The cheese is under the sauce. <laughs> That's not enough cheese. The cheese is under the sauce. It's not enough. It's under the sauce. I don't want to make any comments on like cringe or not. But this guy was kind of cringe. What do you know about inflation? It's really affecting me. You can't even afford a flat in the downtown right now. Yeah, yeah, it's like 4,000, 5,000 bucks. My donair was just $18. A donair used to be like six bucks. No, actually, I'm, I'm from New Zealand. It's real? My $3. Uh. It used to be a dollar. God damn, I'm good. How do I progress here? I'm trying to go freaky mode, but there's an invisible wall. There's no way I went the wrong way, right? They wouldn't let me go this far in the wrong... Uh. That's crazy. <laughs> I love him. Actually, the other thing about Thailand is you meet a lot, especially if you're like working here, you meet a lot of Russians and Ukrainians, more Russians and Ukrainians, because they don't want to fight in the war too, you know what I mean? And a lot of people want to bash Russia and talk about the culture and stuff, but I think people forget like there are citizens and they're not necessarily like directly responsible for everything that happens in the country. So sometimes I think like, the people who are kind of, like, fear-mongering Russians, I feel kind of bad for it because I know this guy. His name's Andrew. And he... He's a sweet kid. He's he's older than me. He's got, like, a master's in engineering. Um, but he fled the war, and he just likes to listen to techno music and, and just, like, have a good time. And I feel bad because he's got, like, a thick Russian accent, and sometimes people are kind of, like, judgmental of him because of that. You know, when the big boys play with their toys... It's always the little people who get hurt. That's what I don't like about war. That is the worst thing, I think. There's innocent people getting hurt all the time because of, like, this guy believes in this, this guy believes in this. No. I got it. I'm about to say the most core core shit shit for you ever. Ready? Hold on. Let me go to uh, what would it be called? Core core. I love core core. I actually, if I watch one of these, I might cry. I'm I straight up might cry. But I, I don't know if I'm ready to uh, to. I'm not ready to cry on stream. I will cry. I know I will. Let's see some core core shit. Too, too much. Never mind. It's ruined. It's been fucking ruined. Go away. Oh, it's an unskippable ad. Love it. This is the thing I'm gonna say. 
at least just, uh, about money. Because I saw that guy in that Reddit post talk about money. And that just got me thinking, man. Like, I asked myself a while back. I said, if money was not an object, like, if, like obviously it's an object, but if money was irrelevant to you, what would you do? What would you do with your life? And then I, I've asked that question to people, and, and you know, it's so like, oh, probably I would go travel. I would go, like, see the world, and I would go do this. I would go do that. And I think about that sometimes because that wasn't my answer. I understand why people say that answer because it's like, oh, I want to experience this. I want to do this. I. But I thought to myself, it was like, yeah, I'd like to make some money, but I'd like to, like, okay, this is going to sound super childish. When I was a little kid, I used to have a dream of saving the world and I still inside of me have never really let that go it was always about uh, but like the question became more complicated because the older you get you realize it's really naive as a little child to be like oh the world can be saved right the older you get you get like super jaded you're like no you can't save the world there's nothing you can do but yeah maybe not probably not but it's still worth it to try isn't it it's still worth it to be nice to people when you see them in the street. It's still worth it to, like, help people where you can so long as it doesn't come at, like, a great expense to yourself. It's still worth it to, tr to try and inspire people and do good. Like, every time, if you're walking in the street and you have an interaction with a child, you want to be a good person for the kid, right? When I was a teacher, it was, sometimes it's tough. Especially when you're teaching, it's really tough because, like, sometimes the kids are just, like, they're such little fuckers, dude. But you still still try you still smile you still try to put in the effort you still try to be a good person you still try to help them out you still try right and then my kids after a while they saw like I, I cared about them and i wanted them to have a good time like i don't just want them to learn english like i want them to have fun enjoy being a kid while you still can da 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 and they i used to love it man they used to walk around the the, the school and they'd be like teacher teacher high five love giving high fives and when they're younger when they're in kindergarten it's so cute they come up to you and they hug you so like sometimes you come into class and they get so excited that they like literally jump out of their seat and they go teacher teacher and they're tiny i'm not that tall i'm like six foot but they'll like wrap themselves around my leg i always gotta like cover my groin because sometimes they try to like push their head and you're like no no get away tiny gremlin but, uh, i love them man i love my kids to death but yeah you gotta ask yourself at some point like if money wasn't an object what would you do with your life? And then I have a lot of people who say like, oh, I would start a family. And, and to be fair, that's a good answer. But then I have another question for them. I said, if you were born as a male, or a female and say you didn't have any reproductive organs you literally could not knock somebody up and could not get pregnant you are destined to die your bloodline dies with you right say that was the case what do you do then and if your answer is like kill your kill myself it's like oh, okay okay unalive yourself that's like okay you're copping out because i thought about this because there's so much more stuff that you could do in life that could benefit the human race aside from just repopulating you know what i mean you could be an inventor of something that like like those guys who turned who made mushrooms that eat plastic right you could dedicate your cost to that that's gonna help deal with like this or you could help with like garbage collection and, and where things go or try to like get into politics you don't need to to do all these things to be a good person you don't need to just like have a kid and stuff like there's tons of ways that you can make like a little bit more of a difference in the world to make it a better place and i think one of the best thing best places to start is with yourself which is like why we do the push-up thing it's like working out mm. actually it's good Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> kind of a nice time.
Monica too. Damn. High university graduates, how good are such bad are they in reality? I think they're pretty good actually from some of them. It really depends. The best high students will often continue with postgraduate programs abroad, US or UK mostly, because those are a lot more value than a master's or a PhD in Thailand. The difference in quality becomes greater as the education level goes up. On the other hand, the top three at least Thai universities do get some recognition in the region and abroad. It's true. Reddit's kind of boring right now. <laughs> I don't know who that is. This guy's funny. Yo, Dr. Disrespect's like a, a fucking giant, bro. I didn't know this, because I you always see someone at their computer, and you never know how tall they are. And then you look at a picture of them. I think he's like six foot five or six foot, Like, look at that! Man next to a door. That would be like him next to me, I think. I'm, I'm not that tall. This guy's a fucking mammoth. I love him, bro. His look, the wig, and everything. He says he's willing to stream on Twitter X under one condition. Two-time blockbuster video game champion. I love that. I love it. Two times! <coughs> <coughs> Two times. How do I put this up here? Mm. Why did he get banned on Twitch? If Elon showed up at the La Casa via his brand new Tesla truck and says, Doc, you're the best at what you do, which is Elon, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, Elon. Um, I know I'm the best at what I do. If you were to approach me with, hey, let's build this platform, let's get some, I want streaming to be taken to the next level because we that's what we do. We take things to the next level. We always have and we always will. As of right now, I'd be yes. Let's do it. As of right now, let's do it. Give me some engineers. Let's figure it out. That's kind of cool. I like Doc. I don't know why he got banned on Twitch, to be honest with you. I have no idea. I don't know why there's a controversy with him. Yo, Jimmy, I'm... But he is I feel like I'm at a gaming convention. <laughs> I mean, this is what it literally is. At a gaming convention, champ, it's just like this. I feel like I'm at a gaming convention. I mean, this is what it literally is. At a gaming convention, champ, it's just like this. What is that in the... That dude's got like... Six foot six! I feel like I'm... Homie's got six inches Yo, on Jamie, me, bro. I need to ask you a question. Okay, Will you 100% come this Sunday to play poker for $100,000? Uh, can you press the mute button real quick? Uh, it's not muted? Yeah. Why, of course I'll be there. I didn't even hesitate for a second. Of course, buddy. All right, let's go. Uh, I'll send you the commercial flight details tomorrow. You have two stops, one in Michigan, one in Arizona. It should take about Wait 12 minutes. Wait a minute. What? You're, uh, no, no PJ? Oh, no. Oh, oh, P a, P a PJ. Dude, funny thing, they stopped doing them. In general, they just don't exist anymore. Weird thing, they only do west to east. I wonder why no one ever told me that. 
<laughs> okay. Liberal media. Um, <laughs> yo, Jimmy, I'm live. What did you say? The Mets want you to throw. All right. I think we got the food in the tank. I think it's time to get back to it and see what we can do in 30 minutes. What can we do in 30 minutes? Make a funk song, let it out. Okay. I like that soccer power. You try to run, I'm a cut my gat and flash you. Deep, deep in the bush, you see, I'm scoping. Okay, let's just throw on some sounds that we like and we'll compose something. You try to. What the fuck? Okay, we got the vocals we're gonna use. What is this? Probably take a gunshot too. Oh shit, I'm putting this on the wrong thing. Gunshot. The vocals should be like seven. Two more vocals. Acapellas two. Fuck, what was the one that we starred? There were so many. Oh my god. Memphis acapella. This one. Okay. Um, There's so many, dude. This guy's pack is like the greatest thing of all time if you're making funk music. Like, I barely gotta do shit. Which I feel kind of bad for. Mmm. <laughs> Snares. I like that number three. I like that number three a lot. Snare three. Should we check out snare one? Snare two. No, let's say let's just stay with that pocket. It's a toss up between those two hi hats. What? Why is there so many? We want trappy. That's pretty trappy. We'll do one hi hat in there. Open hat just to see it. I don't know what Kiko means. Effects. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that from? Is that Kirby? That's so cute. <laughs> this has been an Eagle Fuck production. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Man, let me 
come on boy DJ screw up man I love how it's just called fuck and it's a siren. Just put it in there just to see if we like it. Is that the COD Zombies? Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> Do the little blushy thing thing. Oh, that's funny. That's amazing. I, I swear to god, this guy is like the coolest thing of all time. This is a Mario in here. He just didn't label some of these. I actually might make my own 808 now that I've gone through all of these.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna make my own 808. I think that's the one thing I'm gonna make myself. Oh, no, it's on the cowbell. Ah. 808 base. Ba, 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 ba. fucking crazy effects on it like like a sub Let's fuck around with that a little bit. It's all I guarantee you the bass is gonna be like the worst thing that we do. Throw it on one. Take this off. Take this off. Take this off. Take this off. Look at that channel rack. That channel rack looks full as fuck, boys. I've always wanted that to happen. Green and color icon. 808 base. Purple. Good enough. Wave shaper. Oh, too high. Okay, that's a base. Now let's do the drums. 
Let's do the let's do the hats. Hats next. Connect that to here. I don't want to open in the piano roll because there's one thing I don't know how to do on it. Just to hear it. There's a faster way to do this, I know there is. Trim my mustache a little bit. I feel like getting kind of loud. Oh, we should put it in here. Awful. That is god fucking awful. Oh shit. I hate I hate snares, bro. I can never do it right. Never ever 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 can I do it right. What if we made it higher? one that we can do no, that sounds like shit all right we're not gonna worry about the snares for, for a minute because my snares are always dog shit always dog shit what why is that there this should be in the kick pattern isn't it yeah kick Try out the two of them. No, I'm more into this one. <laughs> okay. Go into mixer real quick. Rename. Rename colors, snares, and kicks. Make it green. Make it green, we'll give it a wave shape. Yeah, I know. Oh no! Fuck! I didn't hit enter. Kick and snare, make it green, because that's what we want. We want it Toronto. Uh, I'm not gonna make that mistake twice. Ha 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 ha! Uh, yeah, no, not gross beat. We want a wave shaper, and we wanna make it aggressive, right? That's got lots of fucking knock. Holy shit. Now the fun part, cowbell. So let's make this our melody. We like red for no real reason. Remember that? Let's take these, copy, throw it into this, but we're gonna open the piano roll and let's go to which cowbell should we do this? Cowbell Zada 13, let's try that. Just the pattern. That is fucking mean. Oh my god. Let's make that three. So that it'll fit. No.
is the weirdest sound I think I've ever made drinking coffee in my life. Cowbell high. Uh, okay, 808 base, base, base. Hats are in there. We have kicks. This will be a drop here. So whatever this is should be here too. Uh, and let's see what kind of shit we can do on the piano roll with this real quick. So we just use Cavalzella. Let's try this one. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, mate. Said it. Yeah, lad. Fuck yourself. Fuck ya, yeah, bruv. That's not how they talk, right? Cavill 7. No, so for this one, we want short, punchy notes. Actually, I should just do this and then crank it down. And then we do this. Like, um, the compression on this is fucking ass. Yeah, that compression's ass. Uh, it almost sounds like it's side chained already. We should add an extra note here for sure. on my screen what are you doing That's actually what we do. We do this and we'll copy this over into here. Then we'll slide it like that. I want a ba sound. What if we did F sharp?
bum bum. I do want to go to a high note. I want to jump, but it's I don't want to like this. Da 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 da. What sound is that? Just here. Start here. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Try it again. So that's the question is done. Then we have da 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 da. And we change these three notes here with these of some sort. This D is a transition note, it should never go like that. Maybe we just don't overcomplicate things and go for what we have, to be honest. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make it too complicated. Actually, that almost sounded sick. Also, I'll be right back. The coffee's hitting me. The coffee's hitting me. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, the coffee is hitting me. I gotta, I gotta go do my stuff. I'm gonna mute so that you can't hear it. Okay, bye bye. Uh...
I'm back. I'm back. I don't think anyone's there yet, but I am back. <coughs> Alright. Let's go. Something in here needs to be faster. Maybe we do one, two, three really quick. Ooh, I think I know what the secret is. Quick B and then two. So quick, quick, long, long. Oh yeah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, oh, we like it. Poppin'. Dude, this guy's pack saved my fucking life. feel off so let's just change the hi-hats make them a little bit more simple by making them more complicated like this no no fuck in the start like right here how would we do that how do we do that how would we do that make a drums for long throw it here Start with snare, maybe? Pattern. No. Did I do an open hi-hat? Oh no, shit. Oh, that's why, that's the 808 snare. What the fuck? What the fuck?
What if we had the snare hit the right and the kick hit the left? Intro is a little weak though. The intro of these of this hi hat is pretty weak. Let's do it with that on that one maybe. Maybe we should actually start it with the hi hat, not the snare. Then we'll do how about high in here. I don't know. What did how about high even sound like? No, this cowbell just has like way too much like just straight up fucking distortion and I don't like it. It's just distorted to all fuck. And I don't think we can actually really use that for our root notes, but I do want to do something for our root notes. So let's go back and look at some cowbells. I like this basic cowbell here. Let's let's throw that into the mix. We're going to delete scary cowbell. I know it sounded cool, but I don't think it's going to work for us. So it's just simply not going to work for us. Did I copy that pattern before I did the thing? I really hope I did. I really hope I did. Did not. Poo-poo. Ah, All right, let's get these root notes in here. Copy the root, copy the whole fucking melody, drop it in this, pop that, drop that. It's in kick again because, <laughs> oh my God. Basic cowbell, okay. sound too though uh the fuck out of this i have absolutely watched it i fucked it i fucked it so hard oh my god oh my god <coughs>
this does not sound mean. What about here? Try that, maybe? Okay, this melody sounds good. What if we took this out? If we took this out here, and let's try it with the kick. Introduce the acapella there, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. You try to run, I'm up top my gat and flash you deep, deep in the bush and see I'm scoping with that dead dog. You, you try to run, I'm up top my gat and flash you deep, deep in the bush and see I'm scoping with that dead dog. That acapella does not work with what I'm doing. Maybe we need a more faded acapella? One to the motherfucking two. Motherfucking three, what the fuck you gonna do? To a pippin' ass nigga spitting game to. What to the motherfucking two? Motherfucking three, what the fuck you gonna do? Do a pippin' ass nigga spitting game to the hoe. Do a pippin' ass nigga spitting game to the hoes. Smoking on the set in the night with the bones. Baby boss, what I smoke, she been up and chronic cough. All the time I'm on gas, all the time I'm my dose, so now it's time to smoke. On gas, on gas, on some, on some, on gas, on gas, on some, on gas, on gas, on some, 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 on some
track mode, audio track to insert eight. this we can pull up an automation clip yeah we get that automation clip and we'll drag it down to here and we'll fade on get on get some some okay okay for me for me this this stop stop okay some on get on get some some okay okay for me for me this this stop stop okay some on get on get some some okay okay no, I don't like it. Yes, I've been back at it, back at it. On this music like a bad habit. Might be the ADHD or my personality, or maybe it's the drugs, though. Might, might be the ADHD. I do like that. Oh the drugs though. Oh the drugs though. Oh the drugs though. Oh 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 the drugs though. Might be the ADHD or my personality or maybe it's the drugs though. Might be my ambition or a certain disposition, but I can't make decisions, bro. I try to keep my composition and distrust my intuitions. I ain't got no bad intentions. My brain go a mile a minute, but my heart got a vision, no inhibition. So let's go. Don't get, don't get, don't get, don't get, that fit okay so this cross and this cross sucks let's hear this okay much knock at first i was like yeah we should get the knock with the kick it'd be so good no that was a terrible idea 
This kick has so much fucking knock, it's not even funny. Like, I, don't, I can't actually use this kick, it has too much knock. It has so much fucking knock, it is killing everything else. It's literally killing Actually, that's much better. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking hot in my room. Let me turn my fucking fan. On. Why is it so goddamn hot? Try the 
remix, remix, this, this, so, so, who came for some fun guys, fun guys, on some, on some, who came, who came, see, see, remix, remix, this, this, so, so, guys, on some, on some, who came, who came, see, see, remix, remix, this, this, so, so, who came for some fun guys, fun guys, on some, on some, who came, who came, see, see, remix, remix, came, this, came, this, so, so, remix, remix, this, this, so, so, who came for some fun guys, fun guys, on some, on some, who came for. This gun needs to come in a little bit sooner, and it needs to, it does need to be abrupt, but we need to give it time for the other stuff to like come in, you know? Too much time, too much time, and not enough. We'll introduce the uh, the kick here too. I think. I think we do that. I think we're good. Like this. Oh, scary. I think the kick should hit like a little bit sooner. So let's do a copy of the kick, put it here, and drop it like that. Oi, okay, I think I'm gonna have to call it about here. I'm a little over. I don't like this melody, but tomorrow is gonna be the last day for me to try and do this challenge. I'm gonna have three hours to make two songs, and I'm honestly not sure that I can do it, but Lord knows I'm gonna fucking try. I like this melody a lot, and this sample pack of certainly helps. <laughs> But this inter this this swap with this kind of sucks. I'm gonna save it even though I can't reopen it again. Mediocre. But it's much more true to the actual funk than like the other stuff that I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah my guy later. Okay. Goodbye, project. It was nice knowing you. Cause I've been at this for a while now. I got a bunch of stuff I have to do today. I have to do a bunch of stuff today. But tomorrow is gonna be the big day. The big day. Uh, I will schedule it on stream. If I think I should schedule it. I never schedule my shit. You have to learn to schedule. Hey, we're we're. I said this before. We're one away from actually getting the uh, the thing. I took like two two thirty minute breaks though. So I I'd, I'd say that's three hours. All right, we're at twenty hours now. I feel like it's not gonna be good enough, but we're there. Okay.
I'm just gonna schedule my stuff real quick. Channel creator dashboard, is it in here? Stream manager, is that schedule in here? Shared moderator, I don't have any of this stuff. Thank you to all, the, all of my new followers. Oh, hey, Wes. Wes followed me 11 hours ago. Thanks, Wes. Shout out to Avatix, Wes Makowski, Abdo Osan. You're my boy, Shepherdly 30 centimeters. Cruetta Salarman, Earthies, I know who you are. Caster Dragon, Pelts' Job, that's me. And this was, uh, this was a bot who uh, got deleted. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been at 10. Uh, okay, we did it. We did the thing. Thank you for coming by, ladies and gentlemen. I have got to go because I've got to do stuff and prep and do video editing and shit. And dude, that, that shit takes a lot of time. So, thanks for tuning in.